Uh, my name is Bill Condit, Santa Fe Springs Fire Department, um, truck A-11 captain. Uh, we spec'd out an air and light unit for our city, 90% um, industrial type city. So having the incidents that we do cover, which are extremely large commercial fires, uh, technical rescues, so forth, um, air and light unit is essential for our department. So we chose Freightliner. Um, it's a more comfortable cab. Um, air ride system, we looked at a few different options and the Freightliner was the best choice for us. So the rig that we did spec out is an incident support vehicle. Um, it does has lighting capabilities, has capabilities, capabilities to fill air bottles, um, and then also it's going to be a rehab unit. So from compartment to compartment, we have misting fans down at the bottom, we're going to, we have additional heating elements, heating fans that we're going to add, table and chair slide that this will come out 70% of the width, stopping at 40 and 70. Um, for easier access, it slides both ways um, for access for the chairs and tables. Um, again, being an incident support and a rehab unit, the way we designed this was one side is going to be rehab and the other side is going to be more of support with different things as far as equipment and whatnot. So easy ups, shelves for easy ups on this side and then moving on down, further down the, the rig, we have a built-in refrigerator along with microwave, coffee makers, um, just for kind of creature comforts for us on scene for extended periods of time. So. On board, we have the capabilities of filling our SCBA bottles, um, along with remote fills, which will come off the back. We'll get to that a little bit later, but um, 6,000 6, PSI capabilities, um, cascade system. To the rear of the vehicle, we have our light controls for our tower lights. We have our compressor uh, station where we're going to actually fill the bottles. and. We have our remote fill line. We have exterior lighting, portable lighting that we can also take to other parts of the 